Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Black. It's your boy, Black Velvet, our glory God, and we are back for episode two. Not gonna speak too much, but let's go ahead and get into this bad boy. On the walking dead. I know a little recap are. of what happened. Oh, I got oh, another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Haven't forgot about uh, Larry over there. That man punched me in the face and left me for dead at the end of the... <clears throat> at the end of the... Um, when we were back in the in the pharmacy, or back at that little store, I forgot about that. He gotta die. He got to die. Hey, what's up, Brie Garcia? Thank you uh, for joining. I appreciate it. they get this time uh, looks like a rabbit <sighs> well that's another meal lost <sighs> I still can't we got believe some new faces all this season food in three months it seemed like so much at the time maybe you shouldn't have opened the door yeah except then I'd probably be food by now trust me I have no regrets uh, rabbits hardly a meal mark but I'd take it we're all hungry no kidding When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <laughs> he's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. We got a marksman. 
on the squad. <laughs> Bro. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. How you gonna say you? Alright. Place the bullet. Plus, he brought some walkers in the area to the, over here. Because you know them things have attracted the sound. You learned that last uh, season. And why the hell is this man screaming like that, bro? Oh, his foot got caught in the bear trap. Jesus Christ. Jeez. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. How do you not Travis, see that bear maybe trap? Maybe they bro? can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fucked up. You gotta help me. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. I gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Yeah, you gotta hurry quick, bro. Look at the walkers already right there. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, that's right. Oh, no. Bro, I'm not about to cut off this man's Shit. leg, bro. He's just gonna have to get eaten. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Because we ain't got get no me meds or none of this. this. Mark, get the boys back. Die. Kenny, bro, I am keep not about to cut off, off of me. No, bro. Please hurry. I'm not about to do it. He's got to die. This is Lee, do something. Please. Get me out of this. There's got to be something we can do. Try to cut the chain. Why did I try to kill him? Oh, please save him. Forget it. We use chain like that at the Air Force Base to lift ordnance. You're not going to do it. There has to be a way out of this. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Bro, I'm not cutting off the chain. Damn it, this is bad. Really bad. Just get me out! There is so much blood already. already now. Now. Please We're hurry up! At any minute. Bro, we gotta go. I ain't, I don't know what to do. Come on, do oh, something! Damn it, please! Just cut off his fucking okay. leg. We don't have time for this. I'm not. I'm sorry. Uh, but we have to go. I guess go. I have now. to cut off his leg, bro. Go. I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again. Anything, please. Lee, I can't keep him back forever. Bro, I'm not about to. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not cutting off his leg. You just gonna have to die, bro. I'm, 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 I'm just I'm wasting ammo nope. now. We gotta go. Oh God, there's so many of them. I want nope. my leg. I'm gone, bro. I, want my leg. I gotta back up, bro. I'm not cutting your leg off. No, no, no! Stop! Fuck! Jesus! I need. No, no, no! Stop! Fuck! Bro, I'm not cutting off his leg. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. Stop, stop, stop! Please, please, please! They're, they're making me cut off his leg? We gotta go, now! Yeah, sorry. No! <laughs> no, don't leave me! Damn it, Lee! I'm sorry. I mean, no. I tried to help we him, bro. We can't leave Mr. Parker like that! Give me the gun! Give it God to me! Damn it, let Travis! Go. Bro, what are you doing? Oh, you're stupid. <laughs> First of all, why are Shit. you grabbing what the happened? barrel of a natural selection? He went for the gun! Oh god. Natural selection at that point. I gotta go, we gotta Grab go. The kid. Keep moving! Come on! He, he oh, shot god. him in the stomach, he's this dead! Please get me out! I had to think about I had to think about uh, uh, everybody back at camp there's no way I mean if I would have cut his leg off he'd have been bleeding right we don't have meds 
Cause they are, uh, the, the, they said we don't have, we, I mean, we don't have no food to feed extra mouths, so, I mean, he had to go. It was a tough decision, but it had to be made. And I wasn't about to cut his leg off, cause then he would have, he would have died anyway. We cut his leg off, don't have any bandages to seal it up. He would have just lost too much blood. I mean, technically, we still bought an extra mouth back to camp, and we already don't have enough food. So, it is what it is. Open. We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come on! I don't know why we grabbed the kid who got shot in the stomach. He's dead. What He's gonna turn. What's going Ace, on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? Hey, No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Go right, over bro. here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of We're you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Ten people? How many people we got in the group? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. See, that's what I said. It's what your husband wanted. Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. 
Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Not gonna give it to Katja. Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever. Just like the rest Honestly, of Honestly, I don't place. know. I mean, uh, Clementine is definitely getting it. That's that's no doubt. I, mean, I gotta give it to Clementine. Um, I don't even know where the hell I'm supposed to go. I'm being completely honest. Oh, there we go. Let's check in on baby girl Clementine. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Oh, well, yep. Guess what? You get the first one, Sweet Pea. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Piece of jerky, cheese and crackers, half an apple. I love apples. Thank you. Yeah. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh. Um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. You still tripping off a of Doug? Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you. If he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. I got nine people to go. Back in a we'll bit. come back. Got nine more people. I mean, definitely giving something to Kenny. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Oh, he basically just... How were there three pieces of food left, bro? It said I had enough to feed ten people. I gave one person something. That's actually insane. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! That's actually funny. Uh... How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. I swear I thought I went to talk to Lily. Here. I don't want anything from you. Fine. Fine. <laughs> All right. It's fine by me. I tried to feed you, and you want gonna say you didn't want none for me. All right. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure. Then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. The others noticed you fed Kenny. I mean. Kenny is out there. We go hunting and everything. People are going out there hunting. Gotta eat. I'm gonna save it for somebody else. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. 
I don't know if I should get. I'm. I. I don't. Honestly, I don't care about Larry, bro. He ain't getting nothing. I don't like him. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I. I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got sixty cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <laughs> It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Honestly, I really don't want to give the food to nobody. Uh, Lily says she didn't want nothing from me. I mean, there's Carly. It's either Carly or Mark. Max, check out this kid, though. Hey, he ain't gonna get no food. He just got it. here. I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just left Mr. Parker there. I tried. We didn't have a choice. I really did. I just ran out of time. There was nothing else we could do. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The guy in the truck is Travis. He played in the school band with me. Mr. Parker was the band director, but... God, I can't believe we left him. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I don't know either. It's killing me. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Yeah, we definitely not giving Ben no food. He just got to the group and there's other people. I right, either Mark Mark or Carly. Um I, I really don't know. Hey, will the kid make it? I don't know. You know it was an accident, right? I didn't mean to shoot him. I know. It was crazy back there. Kid acted stupid. Hey, dude. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Well, what did she want us to do? Just leave a couple of teenagers to the walkers? That's exactly what you should have done. Shut your ass up, bro. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, this should help. Try not to I make did too not much mean noise. to give it to Larry. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, I'm asleep. And that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, do I don't you? care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only Hell thing no. I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. You got it. I meant to give it to Mark and not Larry. I don't know how I completely missed that button. But it is what it is. Let me get a cheese and crackers to, uh, to Carly. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly.
Okay, so tried to feed Carly. She didn't want it. Tried to feed Lily. She didn't want it. Um, I guess, and I already fed Duck and and um, and Kenny, so I'm not gonna feed Katja because that's gonna look too suspicious, right? So I guess we're gonna give it to Mark since he's the last one. I'm definitely not giving it to Larry, bro. Larry tried to kill me. Here, so I ain't so. I ain't giving him nothing, bro. Thanks, Lee. But I swear it said I had enough to feed ten people, bro. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. Right. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, right, bro. well, I don't see you working on that wall. You can starve for all I care, bro. You got a few extra pounds Come on you here, anyway. Please. You be all right. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. Hey, There's nothing. I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. Man, you dumbass shouldn't try to grab a gun. He tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about uh, the other Yes, kid? he is. Every yeah. zombie in the area Thanks. is gonna come over here, bro. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! That nigga keep blaming me, bro. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, Ooh. relax! Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road, and if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. 
How y'all doing oh, on yeah. food? Nah, we need we it. We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going That's with you. That's a good you. idea. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Yeah, so, I need uh, the I need what the shooting. Think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? <coughs> Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work yeah. as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. The There's so many dumbasses <laughs> out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Ooh. Shh, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it there's up only yourself! Two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck you! Ooh! Double tap, Fuck you, triple tap, Jesus. quadruple tap. Asshole. Sheesh. Here is going to shit. That's tragic. Oh, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Quadruple tap that man. I ain't gonna lie. If I was Leo, I'd have ran over there and took his crossbow. That's a weapon we could have definitely used. Yeah, but old boy over there was asking too many questions, talking about how many people we got at the camp. Nah, that's a, su that's a suspicious Saint question. John family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. 
This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's we have she... a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how oh, about bro. this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Danny, huh? That why don't I head weird, back bro? with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Right. Why don't you go ahead and take that Yo, along? Yo, you got a gun. Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but... Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Uh, let's go ahead and check out this farm, bro. Wait, I need to talk. Yeah, it's an option. Talk to Mark right So what have you found again. out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. All oh, right. Are you looking at the most randomest thing, bro? Why am I looking at mm. a fence? Pointy. That, this man looked at the fence and said, mm, pointy. I well, bet they go through <laughs> a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Right. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Not for real. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Help you on the bed. Let me go ahead and walk and see what's up over here for a second. There's a broken swing that Mark saw earlier. They got the tool. We should Too be able to fix that. Broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used right. to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. 
Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Bro, by fixing the swing. I mean, I guess. Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. The generator might be a problem. Andy said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor is. I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. They must want me to go like uh through this gate. Man, but hit that like button, man, and, and, and like, comment, subscribe on the video. I'm about to upload this as soon as I get done with it. But, man, I'm going to catch y'all next time, bro. Peace, love, and hair grease.